A family camping trip turned into an unthinkable tragedy after a gunman murdered three members of a family. The sole survivor is a nine-year-old boy. As Amber Cagliano reports, the question is why? A family massacre. The mom, dad, and daughter shot to death. The only survivor, a nine-year-old boy who ran for help. The report of a uh, child that went to another camper uh, said that uh, there was a possible shooting in his camper. Parents are in there. A campgoer says she saw the little boy after the shooting. He's just standing there, like just calm and you know not, nothing out of the ordinary other than he had one shoe on and was in his pajamas, but not being held or comforted or, or, you know, showing any emotion. They were a beautiful family vacationing at a campground in Iowa. Authorities say they were in a tent when an intruder entered and fatally gunned down 42-year-old Tyler Schmidt, his wife Sarah, and six-year-old Lula. Stranger wearing all black got in the tent, had some sort of a small gun, and he took off running. Reports of the shooting prompted authorities to quickly shut down the camp. When they did a roll call, they say they quickly discovered someone missing. It was the suspect. The body of 23-year-old Anthony Orlando Sherwin was discovered with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. A random act of violence. There was no correlation or no relationship between Anthony Sherwin and the Schmidt family that we've come across. The Slain family is from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Mom worked at the local library. Inside Edition spoke to the mom's brother, Adam Morehouse. Sure that most of us are in the, the several levels of shock phase of disbelief. And those waves come and go as with every human, you know, between disbelief and sadness, followed by anger, followed by more disbelief. He is calling for people to rally around the young survivor, Arlo. How is Arlo doing? He's a strong little boy but it's important to note that he has a lot of uh, struggles that he's gonna have to overcome forever now. The mayor of Cedar Falls, where the family's from, says he's devastated by the murders and confirms the nine-year-old is now safe. Police are still trying to determine a motive for the shootings.